Welcome to hardatengineer.com. I am Varun Patel. In this video, I am going to explain to you about the cavitation in centrifugal pump. In this video, you will learn about what is cavitation, reasons for cavitation and how to prevent cavitation. So watch the full video to get a complete understanding of these topics. And don't forget to subscribe because that way you will get the notification of my new videos. You can subscribe right now by just clicking the subscribe button on the right hand side of your screen. Let's start with video. What is cavitation? Why you have to know about it? Have you ever seen the pump that make sound like it is transporting marble and gravel? Well, cavitation is responsible for such a high sound and vibration in the pump. When vapor bubbles are created inside the pump and subsequent collapsing of the bubbles inside the pump is known as a cavitation. Collapsing of bubbles create tremendous pressure jet and shock wave inside the pump. This will result in high noise and vibration in the pump. There are many reasons for vapor bubble creation. I will explain to you the same in a minute. First, Look at the image shown here. It shows collapsing of bubbles near the surface and away from the surface. When vapor bubble collapse far from the surface as shown here, it will create shock wave inside the liquid. And when vapor collapse near the surface, the pressure jet hit the surface of with pressure in the range of 10,000 to 15,000 psi. Yes, that is the in the range of 10 to 15,000 psi. This will create a pit and erode the surface. This will damage the surface of impeller or pump housing. Damage done by such bubbles are shown here in the photos. You can see that harmless and soft bubble can make your pump completely out of service. We all know that when liquid get boiled, vapor bubbles start appearing in the liquid. But how liquid get boiled in pump? Each liquid has its own boiling point. If you reduce the pressure, boiling point gets lowered and if you increase the pressure, boiling point get higher. What does that mean? Liquid start boiling at low temperature if you reduce the pressure. The same thing is happening inside the pump. When pressure fall below the liquid vapor pressure, it starts boiling and creates vapor bubbles. When the bubble reach the higher pressure zone within the pump, it get collapse. You can easily identify where the pump is cavitating by sound it makes. If you listen sound that makes you think that gravels are getting pumped, that is the clear sign of cavitation. Other than this, high vibration is also indicator of cavitation. Now you know cavitation. You should also know why cavitation happens in pump. There are five main reasons that leads to cavitation in pump. First, vaporization of liquid in pump. This is biggest reason of cavitation. As explained earlier, if the pressure inside the pump falls below the vapor pressure, liquid start boiling and create vapors. To eliminate this, you have to keep enough air at the pump suction. As the thumb off rule, NPSH available should be 3 feet more than the NPSH required. Now the second reason for cavitation inside the pump is recirculation. Recirculation in the pump happens when the discharge is restricted. When liquids cannot exit the pump, it starts recirculation in the pump. This will lead to rise in the temperature of the liquid and creation of vapor bubble. The third reason is improper gap between impeller and pump housing. If the gap between impeller and pump housing is very low, when liquid pass through this gap at high velocity, it will lead to cavitation. The fourth reason is air ingress. If pump is running at lower than atmospheric pressure, there is a chance of air ingress in the pump from any poor joint. This air will create same cavitation effect in the pump. 
the last reason for the cavitation is turbulence in the flow. Turbulence or vortex occur in the flowing liquid due to various design related reasons in the piping system. If this vortex is getting formed near the pump suction, it will have a same effect like vaporization or low NPSH. There may be other reasons, but these five are the major contributor. If you want to learn more about the centrifugal pump principle, operation and design, you can check the full course available on my website. It is 7 hour long course covering every aspect of the pump that will make you super confident about centrifugal pump. You can see some of the potential problem that comes with prolonged cavitation in the pump. The first such problem is vibration, then noise, low efficiency, reduction in the flow rate and head, physical damage to impeller and pump housing, leakage of the pump seal, and problem with alignment. Now how to prevent cavitation in the pump? Well, there are many things that help to avoid or minimize the cavitation in centrifugal pump. First, make sure pump has enough head at suction. As said, your NPSH available at the pump suction should be more than your NPSH required with enough safety margin. This will ensure that no vaporization will occur at pump suction. Second thing that you can take care is proper design of pump impeller so that clearance between pump housing and impeller will be good enough to avoid heating of liquid. Third, don't run the pump with restricted flow to avoid recirculation. Fourth thing that you can do is if pump is running below the atmospheric pressure, make sure that there is no air ingress. Fifth thing is proper design of pumping system will help you to avoid vortex and also prevent air accumulation at suction. For example, using eccentric reducer with the flat side top as shown here. Centrifugal pump cavitation is a big and complex topics. Pump manufacturers spend lots of time and money to achieve best pump performance. What you have learned here will give you good understanding of this topic. If you want to learn more about the centrifugal pump principle operation and design, as said, you can check the full course available on my website. It is 7 hour course covering every aspect of the pump that will make you super confident about centrifugal pump. Please do like and share this video with your friends and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because that way you will get the notification of new video. See you soon. Goodbye. Take care.